Well folks, earlier this season you saw that Hal had sent me some rifles because we're prototyping a bunch of things. And we took those to Alaska, uh, did some prototype testing up there. Now they sent me four more because me, the guy behind the camera there, Marcus, uh, Michael and Dan, we're all gonna be out hunting this year. And so what we have here is this is a 6.5 Creedmoor. We got a 270, a 308, and a 300 wind mag. And they're all slightly different. And we're gonna put them together. Leupold sent us four new scopes, all VX, VX5 HD. Uh, Nosler sent us a bunch of new ammo. Some is the old reliable Acubon. Uh, for the Creedmoor, they sent us a bunch of Acubon long range. And then for the 308 and the 300, we're going to set them up for E-tips, their uh, non-lead ammo. And next week, we're heading to Wyoming. Marcus is going to take this Creedmoor. I'm going to take the new 270. We're going different directions. Um, we're going to try that out. Then we got guests coming, and we're going to try out the new 300 with a little bit longer barrel. Uh, we're going to try it out with different setups and let the guests shoot them. We're gonna, obviously, we're gonna get them dialed in beforehand. But we're gonna do this. I'm not gonna show you how. In the last video, we talked about how I do the whole setup of the scopes. I'm gonna do that on all four of these, hopefully before I have to be at dinner tonight. Uh, and tomorrow, we're gonna take all of these rifles out to the range, and we're gonna start breaking them in and shooting and doing the normal drill, making sure our ammo is doing what it's supposed to do, that our scopes are doing what it's supposed to do, barrels broke in, everything's dialed in, so that when we go out in the field and start testing these, we know that the only likely problem is operator error. That's a 308. Better go get some 308 ammo. The maiden bullet. All right. We're going to break in all these rifles, do 10 single shots, cleaning between each shot. Then we're going to do 10 more rounds, cleaning every other shot. So 10 of them are bang, clean, bang, clean, bang, clean. Then the last 10 are boom, boom clean, boom, boom, clean. And then once they're zeroed or, or broke in, we'll start getting our zero. We can actually use the break-in process to get pretty close to our zeros. And one of the things we're doing is this is a 308 with the VX5. Uh, this one's gonna be set to shoot 180 or 168 grain Nosler E-tips. My other 308 is 165 grain uh, Nosler partitions have a 7mm08 here, have two of them with me actually. One I'm gonna, is already set for E-tips, the other I'm gonna set over to Acubons. Got a 270, gonna do some Acubons there. Uh, we got a 6.5 Creedmoor, we're gonna do some 129 grain Acubon long range on that. The idea is we are having these companies, Hawa, Leupold, and Nosler, send us all kinds of combinations of stuff because now that we're going into our rifle season, we got antelope, mule deer, whitetails, elk, uh, cow's deer, all kinds of things. The goal is when the season's over, we're gonna report back to Howa particularly of what rifle, what combo, what barrel taper, what barrel length, what cartridge seems to be the best for deer, seems to be working best for us for elk or whatever. So. Inside that, a lot of fun to come out here and burn a bunch of powder. Very first shot is absolutely perfect left to right. It needs a little help on the elevation, but wow.
So we've shot these three rifles. We did a full break in with 10 rounds single, cleaning between every shot and letting it cool. And then the next 10 rounds, shooting twice, cleaning and letting it cool. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our actual ammo we're gonna be hunting with. And we've used this barrel break-in process to kind of get us really close to our zero. But now we're, we're gonna make sure that what we're hunting with is dialed in. As far as cleaning now, from now until I'm done hunting, unless I get an obstruction in the barrel, I'm just running a dry patch or that's the only cleaning I'm doing until probably season's over or I, I somehow get a wet, dirty or obstructed barrel. Dirty, I mean, as in dirt. And one of the good parts about today is it's, we got a pretty good crosswind. So it's forcing us to have to really focus and account for less than perfect conditions. Come out and shoot when it's not perfect because when you're hunting, it's probably not perfect. Thanks for watching.